He has started harassing cows. Bruno? Hola, Muthoni here. Back in Feb, I stumbled upon this gorgeous masterpiece of a house and I felt like it had so much potential. So I went and convinced the owner to let me renovate it. And he was like, girl, go do it go get it so before we get started on everything else one of the things that i wanted to do was to change the entrance so currently to get into the compound you basically get in through the back of the house and there's also other people who walk through that road the t tracks that use that road as well so i wanted something that would be a bit more private so we will be clearing out this bush area because this is where our entrance is going to move to so the gate will be somewhere here, okay? So the road is on that side. You see where those trees are? Just in front, those long trees there, where those other ones are, that's where the road is, the main road. So the entrance will be from the main road. You come this way, and then it goes up, because there, on this side, where the Ngombe is, Ukonyuma, there's a family cemetery. So, because they would want access to that, so us will come, the pathway will lead that way and also this way. So here, coming here, this is where the gate will be. So the gate is on the other side where the old entrance was. So we'll move the gate here. That way, if someone is coming in that way, they're either coming to our house or coming to the cemetery. So like you're aware of every person who's coming in that direction. What that does is when you come in this way, because all this will be our compound, you see where these bushes are there coming to that corner coming all this way that's part of the compound so if the gate is here we are fencing this car part all the way we have that side you can see where the fence is and then you basically end up in front ish of the house but like because with the gate here you can always tell when someone is coming into the compound way those trees they mark a neighbor all this is empty so this is where the pathway will be okay right now it's a shamba but now that's where the barabara is coming so this entire spot so the gate will be here okay i think you can tell where, what's happening the gate so you could have on a pathway you only barabara i love get here to go off to the side because we want it to be very specific to the side there's, um, this is the current entrance and then you enter the house through the back. So since we won't be using this entrance to get to the house, we were told we can take these gates and use them as our main gate. So the first order of business is, as you can tell, the paint has really like come off. It has started sort of rusting, but it's still very heavy. It has this trauma. So we are going to remove it tomorrow because now it's like late in the evening so the intention is to remove this gate tomorrow it's heavy it's very heavy so we'll remove it tomorrow from here and then i am going to paint it so i'm going to try and do my best to remove the all the ninis like try and sand it and see what i can do and then i'm going to paint it I'm going to, i like that it has this small gate um for you don't have to open just the this one I have to change out this lock thing. We remove it to see what we're going to do about it. That's what it looks like. It's those old school ones. Aki, it's going to rain now because the gates are still in really good condition. It's very strong. The these ninis are good. It just needs a good coat of paint and will be sorted. So tomorrow we'll just come. I feel like this board does just operate on whenever I'm filming. So we'll just come Kesho, remove the gate. So we'll come early in the morning, remove, because we don't know how long it's going to take us to remove. And then also, um, as we get the materials for the that slab, the slab for the, the new gate on the other side, because I want us to start with the gate. That way, even as we work on the house, as we are working, uh, Ukundani, like we won't be using this road We'll just be using our main entrance that way anything that's coming there going through there walking through there is going directly to our place because that's what that does it kind of separates us from other people and other people's access to the house as we also end up now 
fencing the area and everything. So I'll see you tomorrow as we take down this gate. Good morning. This is the weather we woke up to. It's like almost 8.30 now and it's still very foggy and all that but you can hear the birds anytime i hear the birds for me it's like a sign that it's going to get sunny and as much as it's slightly foggy you can tell that the sun is going to come out so i'm hoping that the sun will come out because we have to go remove the gate so i'm having breakfast right now and then we're going to go over to the other house and get started on the process of removing the gate one thing i've noticed about um shags areas mostly is unless you're like a tea picker work kind of starts at like 10 anywhere between 9 9 30 to 10 and by the time like it's three people are like almost ready to go which is very interesting but like working within those timelines because also by six journey it's like really cold so we're taking in that factor yesterday it rained from around actually the moment when i was showing you guys the gate we had to rush back here because it was like there was this really heavy wind and i was like this one is coming with immediate rain the one that comes immediately not the ones that um not the rain that you know, it's like we'll start drizzling Kidogo and then gives you time. And by the time we're getting to the house, it had officially started raining, like heavy rain. And it lasted for about 30, 40 minutes. So now taking that kind of stuff into consideration, I'm still hoping that July is going to be a sunny month. That is the one thing. See, see what I mean? The sun is coming out. I can literally see where the sun is. I can even stand in front of it. <laughs> there. But it's like with the clouds, I can see the sun. I looked up now I can't see you I can see the Sun underneath the clouds so once the clouds clear out it is going to be a sunny day so fingers crossed because I'm hoping we're going to have some sort of a sunny July so I'm excited to go remove the gate I have to I have not uh, I've not gone to buy paint yet so I'm just going to call my Buddha guy because it's I'm just getting generic black paint like nothing whatever it's just gloss black paint um so I'm, I'm going to send my buddha guy to do that to pick a can for me as i prep um as i prep the nini the gate for painting find a way to prop it up because i can't paint it under a tree in case leaves fall and they end up getting stuck so there's all this stuff to take into consideration so i'm excited about that and then if i can finish that early enough I'll probably clean out the house. We'll try and just remove some of the stuff for Kondani just to figure out where most of that stuff is going because I want to start removing the ceiling, those ceiling boards because um, I want to keep some of them to use um, on the border on the outside of the house instead of having to buy new ceiling boards for the... I'll show you. I'll show you when we get to the house. So yeah, let me go have my breakfast. The sun has disappeared, but let me go have my breakfast and then we can officially start the day at like maybe 10. <laughs> or 9 30. Bruno is excited. Good morning, Bruno. Uh uh, it's not a fight. So, Bruno wants to play. Joey thinks it's a fight. So, Bruno is playing by himself. And Joey's just like, What is wrong with this dog? I'm out of here. <laughs> and then Bruno came and is like, Ah, he left. What happened? Let me go find him. And that is today in Catsville. Called it with the sun. So I've changed my hat from it's called in Limuru to I'm going to work hat. Ah. 
Sorry. We have removed the first gate and then the second one is over here. <clears throat> And you can tell it was really close to the road so they just had to remove the things that were anchoring it to this block um i don't know what it's called we'll find out together <laughs> so this is what anchors it and holds all the weight of the gate that's why the gate can swing so we'll have to build two of this so one on the side where the new gate is going to be okay so it didn't take as long as they expected because they didn't know how deep it was going to be so that's why we were like okay let's start as early as possible but one down and this one is technically halfway done so uh, it's being hit with that chisel and hammer from either side so from Uku no Uku because this is what is being released which is what is holding the hinge oh there's a kadudu over here look can you see it there there's a warm a tiny warm I don't know what kind, but it's gonna die. <laughs> that isn't cool. So they're using the chisel and hammer to gonga from either side. So we're using these wire brushes. We're using these wire brushes to get rid of the rusty part because, like I said, this thing had been painted and then it the paint kind of started running out or running off or whatever after years and years of degradation and then it started sort of rusting i guess from rain and the moisture and all that because this place is dewy and it is in the highlands so in the morning i'm assuming this thing kind of gets cold i don't know so the process is simple the first one has tokanad <laughs> so this was the first brush that was being used become very nini so this is the new one um i think this one should be should be able to finish this one because that one kind of finished that one and it's just just pressing it down and just trying to scrape off because this is metal on metal so they'll just easily scrape each other <laughs> No, what are you doing? Eh? What was that? Sorry, cow. Today we finished scraping the gates, but it took so long. By the time we're done, it was like almost five so we just leaned them against the house and then now the intention is to continue with the work um because it took a lot and my intention was to go paint them today but yo i am so exhausted my ninizu kuivi hat but so the work for painting will now continue on monday but the cool thing is we managed to scrape them down completely and wipe them but i also felt like i wanted to wipe them a second time because um they still had a bit of an issue and then there's also like some reinforcement we'll do at the base because the base has started rusting and it has holes so we'll be taking care of that on monday and painting as well so for part two this is part one of this video there'll be a part two which is now the painting of the gate as well as now us putting it up on the second on the new entrance area so thank you so much for watching this video i really do hope you enjoyed something or learned something about removing a gate and now that the renovation has officially started i look forward to seeing you back here next week with another video it might not be the second part of this video but we will have another video on friday and i am sorry that this video is coming to you a day late it's because we kind of had um some delay in starting the video the guys weren't available the day before to remove the gate so we had to remove the gate on friday um so 
which was yesterday so today is saturday as i do this ending part so see you back here next week and yeah you'll be seeing me in a lot of mbosheries moving forward i won't be looking pretty all the time but i'll try i'll try <laughs> bye oh don't forget to subscribe i have to remind people to keep up with the renovation i'm going to set up a renovation playlist that's specific which will probably be called renovation series or muthoni flips or something i'll have a complete playlist that you can catch up if you're just catching up with us if you've just found us out and also um don't forget we'll have videos dropping every friday at 3 p.m so looking forward to see you in the next video now bye for real <laughs> what was that what was that where are you ninning at the cow? Bruno? Eh? What did the cow do to you? Bruno? Hi. Can you leave the cow alone?